Good morning. It's Monday. Happy Monday to all of you guys. I'm excited for this new week and lots of projects that I have going on. But I was going through my morning routine this morning and I realized there's something that I do that makes a big difference and I didn't even really realize that I did it, um, but I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So that is why we try to get get ready 15 minutes early. Okay, so I don't mean like we have to be ready at 8.30 and I try every day to get ready 15 minutes early. It's that the bus comes at 8.30. So instead of 8.30 being the time that we're ready, it's 8.15, we are headed out the door, no excuses. Um, now, why the heck is that? I don't have time to get ready as it is for the time. Well, yes, it might mean you get up 15 minutes early or it might mean you evaluate your morning routine and see where you can fit things a little bit differently so that you can get ready out the door 15 minutes earlier but I think this is super important um, because we talk about all the time right how our mornings really set the tone for the rest of our day um, and a lot of times our mornings are busy we're racing around we're trying to get ourselves ready we're trying to get our kids ready things are going wrong we're spilling things and having to change our outfits and it can be super stressful and we can get at each other because we're annoyed and then that can really lead into your day so um, the same is true for your kids so they can be sent off to school feeling stressed from the morning they can feel like they didn't have their stuff ready they can feel like they disappointed you or like whatever it is they have those same feelings right so it's important to me that we are always um, ready 15 minutes early we head outside to wait for the bus and we have that 15 minutes built in so that gives us 15 minutes to turn all that off no matter what happened during the morning no matter how stressful it was or who spilled the juice or whatever happened that's 15 minutes for us to just reset the way that it is to just calm down to apologize to each other if we need to to make sure that we get our hugs before we go and to kind of um also go through that mental checklist of what was everything I was supposed to do this morning and did I do it? So rather than getting to work and saying, oh crap, I didn't bring that portfolio that I needed for my client or rather than the kids getting to school and saying, oh crap, I forgot my lunch, it gives you that opportunity to kind of go through that and realize what did you forget and now you have the opportunity to grab it so that you start your day in a successful way rather than you know starting that day right away feeling like you didn't do what you were supposed to or you didn't show up the way you were supposed to um, it gives you the opportunity to be successful so just having that 15 minute barrier is really um and it's an opportunity for quality time. You know, so often we're rush, rush, rush to the next thing, to the next thing. Yes, we rush to get to that time, but that's 15 minutes that we're not doing something else, that we're just focusing on each other and being ready for our day and being positive. We can run through our, you know, the book that he's supposed to know for the morning or shoot a couple basketball shots or whatever it is and just have a few happy moments um, that we are setting before we race off to our day. So even if you don't have kids that you are getting on the bus, um, if you don't have kids or your kids are older or whatever, it doesn't matter. That's a gift that we can give ourselves as well as, um, you know, maybe you you get through your day, you get through your morning routine and get yourself 15 minutes early. And maybe that's 15 minutes that you can sit on the porch and actually enjoy your cup of coffee so that you can have those couple minutes of gratitude or write down the three things that you want to um, do for your day or whatever it is, run through that mental checklist, get in a good space so that you can head into work ready to serve other people with a smile on your face in a good mindset. So I hope that you find this helpful. Um, I hope that you are already off to a great start this morning and into a good week. And this is some of the things that we do in my coaching. If you are still kind of on the fence wondering what that's about, um, we kind of figure out what are you struggling with? Are your mornings crazy? Um, and how can we actually tackle that with real steps that you can do that will change the way things are happening? So if you have questions about that, you let me know. But otherwise, I hope you have a great week.